I'm back to Siberia. Let's go and get our money so we can move the train. Yep. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Gentlemen, I have managed to repair your university bandstand. The bandstand is playing again. This is marvelous news. We are really very grateful, very grateful indeed. Yes, very grateful indeed. We will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts. And now let us in turn honor our word. How much is it you need, miss? A hundred dollars, if it's not too much to ask. Something about it. <clears throat> we agreed to grant you the aforementioned sum, miss. You may now leave with your train. And while we're on the subject, when will you be leaving? Uh, yes, because now you should relocate your train as quickly as possible. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Alright, now we'll go in. We can't get the barge to move the train. We're gonna figure this out. I need a key. No, I need a key. Where are you getting a key from? That looks broken.
barge is this way. Hey there, on the boat. Good tag, Sherda Mademoiselle. My husband say, hello, young lady. You want to talk to us? It's not very polite of you to take advantage of my predicament. We could have done favors for each other, for free, out of solidarity. Favor, favor, I lost speak not full. Money, yeah, wait full. Excuse me? My husband say, need money for leave. One hundred dollar not lot for fancy lady like you. How would you know a fancy lady like me, really? I just met with the university rectors and they ordered me to remove my train out of their station. I mean, it's a total joke. How do you remove a train that can't move in the first place? You don't have any ideas, do you? We know nothing of train. You up your own creek. Your generosity warms my heart. I have a little problem with my train. It's kind of broken. I've absolutely got to get it out of the station. Do you think you could tow it over to the wall with your barge? Lock closed. Barge block. But if the locks were open, would it be okay to tow my train then? Por que no? More money for that sferk. Da, it's possible. My husband say we help you if you give money. I'll leave you to it. I won't disturb you again. Do svidania. Well, I guess we gotta find a way to... open the... locks up. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? I feel like I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your help. Hey, anything I can do, miss, you just let me know. I've just been to see the rectors, and they told me to get the train out of the station as quick as I can. Uh, I thought they'd say that. Rules are rules, and you gotta stick by them. Not a good idea to get into trouble with the university administration. Uh, absolutely. I've got enough worries as it is. What should I do then? Well, uh, I suggest you move your train. But it's like I say, the springs are unwound. Everyone seems to think it's my fault. The locomotive's engine might not work, it's true, but maybe there's some other way of moving the train. It's a possibility, I suppose. Uh, what were you thinking of, exactly? Uh, nothing. It was just an idea. Anyway, miss, you shouldn't hang around here. I have a job to do. Yes, sirree. It seems that your superiors object to the presence of my train in the station. Not exactly easygoing, are they? Uh, well, it's, it's not that they're difficult to please, but I find that the less I have to do with them, the better things are. Give a drift. 
birds, more peace than their employers, and respect for the regulations. Now that brings peace of mind. The sailors on the barge reckon they could help me tow my train out of here, but they're asking for money. You couldn't possibly help me out with a few dollars, could you? I would be very grateful. Uh, miss, really, uh, I'm surprised at you. Asking for money from a total stranger, I mean, oh. Right. I need cash. I need it to get my train out of your station, because my train is getting in your way, disturbing your birds, and upsetting your bosses. Look, lady, I'm only a station master. I, I got my problems, and you got yours. The sailors on the barge reckon they could help me tow my train out of here, but they're asking for money. You couldn't possibly help me out with a few dollars, could you? I would be very grateful. Uh, miss, really, uh, I'm surprised at you. Asking for money from a total stranger, I mean, I mean, whoa. Right. I need cash. I need it to get my train out of your station, because my train is getting in your way, disturbing your birds, and upsetting your bosses. Look, lady, I'm only a station master. I, I got my problems, and you got yours. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barokstad, Miss. That looks broken. Hmm. I need a key. No, you're back to the...
area so we don't need to visit. I forgot what the hell it's called. Rectors. Guess we don't need to visit them. Figure this out. There you go. Here's your money. I've checked it. It's all there. Ah, thank you. Not difficult to get dollar. See? You are a real businesswoman. I'm not the only one around here. We please to do deal with you. Now, you open lock or we no help you. Why didn't you manage to open them? After all, you don't have to be a genius. Ma for that fancy no sesto, declined madam. No se saye mara ales non comprendo en allora caput en andere bordel. Zils var moi. On boom telefonieren caput caput. My husband say instructions complicated. No understand manual. My husband angry. Very angry. Oh, now telephone broke. Kaput. Now that is annoying. What are you going to do next? We wait repairman. Well, I don't have the time to wait. I'll have to go have a look. There must be some way of releasing the opening mechanism. Take key. Seller always need key for lock. Okay, thanks.
phone Hello? call. Hey, how's my little baby girl? I was thinking about you only yesterday because I thought it fantastic fur coat. You are wrapping up warm, aren't you? I mean, people in foreign countries never know how to dress properly for the weather. Mom, it's so sweet of you to worry, but I'm fine, really. The trip's a breeze, no worries. I mean, there's... Well, when are you coming back? Frank is dying to meet you. Frank? Oh, yeah, you're a singer. You two seeing each other then? Oh, you'll never guess the surprise he gave me yesterday. No, I suppose I won't. Frank invited me to a big charity show organized by... Oh, uh, well, someone or another. Uh, anyway... They got him singing a couple of old numbers from his repertoire, and in the end, he asked me to go up on stage with him. Can you imagine me, your mother, on stage in front of thousands of people? Wow, I would have loved to have been there. Not too emotional, I hope. Oh, too emotional by far, especially as I hadn't even been to the hairdresser. Well, I didn't even have the proper dress on, but Frank promised me he'd see to that next time. Oh, he's such a cutie, and he's got the sweetest little... <laughs> I'm sure he has, Mom. It would be so good if you could join us one day. Let's see, when is his next gala? I'm so forgetful these days. I swear I'd lose my head if it weren't in the clouds. You just watch out, my girl. Them years will catch up with you much quicker than you think. I'll look out for them, Ma. Nice to hear your voice. Lots of love. Well, to you too, my little munchkin. try and get these uh, channel locks open so this is gamer lawn signing out saying stay tuned for more siberia and thanks for watching i'll catch you later bye